Vergara became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1929. However, his time in the U.S. was marked by a struggle with various menial jobs, particularly working as a bricklayer, which was physically demanding. Giuseppe Zangara's assassination attempt unfolded on February 15, 1933, during an impromptu speech by President-elect Franklin D. Roosevelt in Miami, Florida. Zangara, standing in a crowd of spectators, fired a .32 caliber revolver he had purchased for $8 from a local pawn shop. However, due to his short stature, he struggled to get a clear aim and had to stand on a wobbly metal folding chair, peering over a bystander's hat. He fired his first shot, striking nearby Mrs. Joseph H. Gill, and then fired four more shots wildly. In total, five people were wounded, including Mayor Anton Cermak of Chicago, who was standing on the running board of the car next to Roosevelt. 